674,000, we wanted to convert that to scientific notation. Well, according to scientific notation, the coefficient needs to be between 1 and 10. It can equal 1, but it needs to be between 1 and 10. The decimal here is implied that it's right behind the 0. So I'm going to convert this number to a number between 1 and 10. So I need to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to the left. So I get 6.74. Now because I made the number smaller, because I made this number here 674,000 smaller and I converted it to 7 point, or 6.74, I need to multiply 6.74 by some large number. And so that means the power of 10 that I'm going to put up here is going to be positive. And it's positive to the number of places I move the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be positive 5. So 6.74 times 10 to the fifth is the same as 674,000. Let's try another one. So let's say I had a number look like this. Ten thousand seven hundred. Well, my coefficient, which is the number in front of the power of ten needs to be between 1 and 10. So um, it's going to be, the coefficient is going to be 1.07. Where did I get that from? Well, that I got that because I moved the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the left. Well, because I made 10,700 smaller, I need to multiply 1.07 by a power of 10, that's pretty large. And that's going to be the positive number of places that I moved, which in this case it's going to be positive 4. Now let's say, for example, if I had a number that was at the other extreme, or I had a small number, say 0 0.00, 0.28, one. Well, same idea. My coefficient needs to be between one and ten. Could be equal to one, but it needs to be between one and ten or equal to one. So I'm going to extract my coefficient from this number as two point eight one. How did I get that? Well I moved the decimal to the right. One, two, three places. So now because I made 0 .00281 a larger number, meaning now I convert it to 2.81, I need to multiply 2.81 by a very small power of 10. In this case a negative power. In this case it's going to be negative 3. Okay, so 0 .0028 is going to be equal to 2.81 times 10 to the minus 3. Let's try another one. Let's go real wild. So 0 0.00000071. Well, my coefficient is going to be 7.1 times 10 to some power. Okay. Now, because I wrote 7.1 here and I got the 7.1 from 0 0.00000071, I need to make sure about my coefficient, or I mean my, my exponent, excuse me, is negative. And this could be negative by. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be negative 6. Well, 
well, let's go the other way. Let's say we were given a number in scientific notation and we want to convert it back to long form. So let's take, for example, a number such as 5.11 times 10 to the sixth. Well, 5.11 times 10 to the sixth, just take it for its literal presentation. 10 to the sixth is a million, like one with six zeros after it. So it's quite a big number. So because it's a positive number, positive exponent, I'm going to shift this decimal to the right to make 5.11 become really large. So I'm going to write 1, 1, and now I'm going to have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, So there are four zeros after the five point or the five one one. So as you can see now, it is five million one hundred ten thousand. If we have another number, for example, let's say this one is going to be three point six two times ten. To the fourth. That's going to be equal to, I'm going to move the decimal to the right four places. So 3.362, and I'm going to move to the right four places. One, two, three, four. There are two zeros after. Try two more. Seven point two eight times ten to the minus fourth. Okay, I'm going to write seven two eight here. I know I'm going to have to make this number smaller than seven point two eight because I have a negative exponent. And I'm going to shift the decimal, which was here, four places. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three zeros in front of that seven. And out of habit, I like to put zero in front of the decimal. Let's, let's try 8.13 times 10 to the minus 2. Same approach, I'll write 813 here off to the right because I'm going to have to put some zeros in front of it because of that negative exponent. And the question is how many? Well, I'm going to move the decimal, which was here, one, two places. So the answer is 0 0.0813.